Romy Levy and welcome back to the video. So today we are talking about core strength. Your core is literally the center of everything when it comes to tumbling. So without further ado, let's go get into the video. So, core. Core, 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 core. Your athlete needs a good core. I cannot repeat myself. Your athlete needs a good core. <laughs> Some drills that I like to do for my athletes at the studio, and also you can do too with your athletes at home. The first drill is Supergirl holds. This is not only helping with their core, but it's also helping with shoulder flexibility. You want the athlete to start by laying on their stomach. I love having an athlete hold a noodle or a ball or anything to enforce keeping their arms straight. You want their arms past their ears, rising their chest up off of the floor along with their legs. A lot of kids like to bend their legs. You want to remind them to keep their legs straight. And I like to call them super girl holds. And I would have them hold, I'll count to five, come down. Hold, count to five, come down. The next drill are plank rocks. Basically the athlete is in a forearm plank and they're gonna keep their bottom down and they're basically gonna make rainbows with their hips going from side to side, trying to go down as low to the ground as they can. These plank rocks are really good with strengthening your athlete's core because they are not only holding and activating their core but they're adding movement to it as well. The next drill I love to do, and you would need something like a mat or an octagon or even a couch could work, but you want the athlete to start in a handed plank, which is basically a push-up position, and they're going to cross their body and do shoulder taps. This is really engaging their core, strengthening their arms, and allowing them to add movement to this exercise will also enhance and teach them to squeeze tighter when tumbling. And my last drill that I like to do for core strength is having that athlete using a hula hoop. They're gonna put their feet in it and I always like to pretend that they are driving a big old bus. They're gonna hold their arms nice and straight and they're gonna rock backwards elevating their toes. Kind of like a V-sit, but I guess an assisted V-sit. Now if the athletes aren't bent, please reinforce straight arms and they have to squeeze. You want to remind the athlete not to fall all the way down on their back, but they want to balance right there on that tailbone. These are some core and strength exercises for any kid to try at home if you're on break or if you just are looking for some extra practice. So that being said, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye!